we are getting ready. I'm going to get the car to go to a doctor's appointment. Look at this beautiful fall sidewalk here in Chicago. Okie dokie, we are on our way to a office that we've never been to before. I'm going to see a midwife to talk about our options as far as like delivery goes. I know it's like a lot to like, like that's very far away, um, but that really like changes like what kind of care I'm going to get. If it's possible to have a VBAC or if I'm just going to have another C-section. So today is all about information, seeing what they think. We do um, get an ultrasound though, don't we? And I do get an ultrasound, yes. So it's kind of like an establishing care um, appointment. It's kind of it's kind of funny, like when you change cities and especially like an area that we don't have a lot of family in, it's hard to like just jump right into a new practice that you like you're kind of reliant on like I mean this day and age we're very lucky to have like the internet to uh, do your research and whatnot but I do before we're like 100% set on how we're gonna move forward we're kind of like looking around so that is today's appointment I'm really nervous but also really excited Check that cool building out. So, I can't go in, because we have James, to the doctor's appointment, but just down the street is the doctor's office that we're checking out. We're technically in Wilmette, just by a few blocks, just north of Evanston, which is north of downtown Chicago. First of all, I'm looking into Evanston. It was gorgeous. To me, it reminds me, if you're familiar with the Chicago suburbs, it reminds me of like the Beverly area on the south side of Chicago, which is where Sarah and I used to want to move to when we first got married. Um, but then we fell in love with downtown and then Orlando. Um, but this looks like a closer to the lake, closer to downtown version of Beverly in Evanston. But we are in Wilmot, and that is the Baja House, which is one of the eight continental houses of worship. I don't know much about the Baja faith, but this is a, a just a house of worship, so it is anybody of any faith can just go there for meditation, reflection, for prayer, and it is gorgeous. This thing is huge and gorgeous. And I might be waking up James. Someone just woke up from their nap. Good morning, baby. We dropped a mom up to the doctor, and she just saw your sibling. They're doing beautifully. Everything looks like the baby's measuring great. Are you excited? Yeah, it's pretty big news for right when you wake up. Well, I'll let you process that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fun part about having a minivan now is when doctor's appointments take longer than you suspected, you can hang out in the back seat with your baby out of the car seat. We're adventuring, we're learning what armrests are for. We're looking out the roofs and the windows. And we're talking about our favorite scenes in Luca. Do you love it? Yes. Tell us more. Got the baby back in the car seat because there is Sarah making an appointment for the next appointment. She sent me videos and pictures. I can't wait till she gets back. <gasps> you see Mama in there? I opened up the, the window for him. He was like all jazzed as I was driving through the side streets. He's not really ever experienced that before. Hey. Oh, sorry. He's, he's perturbed right now. <laughs> he is perturbed right now. Too much time in the car. The good news is I did not wait long. Oh, and they just... kept on apologizing so it usually wouldn't be that long. But it was like a thorough But it was just a thorough meeting. first meeting. We'll Me? tell you more about it in a minute. We're grabbing milks for barbecue for the perplexed. Start off with some pickles on our table. That, that is a winning restaurant in my book. Another win in my book is when they bring me out a dipping station. Was this prompted? No. 
Unprompted. Uh, so they were out of the cornbread, so I impulse ordered the loaded <laughs> potato skins, which has got two with bacon and then two with like house chili. Honestly, when we were looking at the menu, like the first thing that I saw was <laughs> was these. So really, and, you didn't yeah. even tell me that. I know, because I was like. I'm not super hungry, I'm just trying to like... Sarah says she's not super hungry, which is very truthful, but then when food's in front of her, she's like, oh my god, I'm so hungry. It happens. It goes nausea, hunger, heartburn, and then back around again. Holy ravioli, look at this. Chicken sandwich! French fries look good too. Peter got brisket. This is like a famous barbecue joint that we're Yeah. It does. I think James enjoyed that the most. <laughs> I think so too. It was top notch. Yeah, and we enjoyed it pretty. <laughs> we loved it. So yeah. it's just to show you how much James Those sauces, Peter, I wanted to bring all of them. I meant to ask if they sell them by the bottle. Uh-huh. Yeah, and you went to Milt's. It's right over there. One of the only kosher barbecue joints in yes. America. Yeah. And we lived first year of marriage right in that building and we, we would see it all uh -huh. time. We never went there. I know it was meant to this yeah. was like oh I'll get there we'll go so tonight we'll Peter go was like do you want to go to this one like brewery and I was like I don't know I'm kind of feeling it's fine. I was like I like racked my brain like where's someone we've been meaning to try oh, and James just can't get over this <laughs> it's beautiful he's got so much mud on his shirt he was eating everything mm-hmm Jimmy Bruckheimer. Transformers? No. Oh, remember the Titans? Such a classic fall. We were supposed to watch this like last week. I know. Then we were at the football games yesterday and I was like, we got it. I really need a caramel apple. Did you get one? You want me to run to Jewel and get you one? No. I'm like actually very full, but like, hmm. I have this very specific memory of one night when we lived in Disney. We didn't live in Disney, but we went to Disney a lot. I lived in Magic Kingdom. We got caramel apples at the beach club. Goodness. And we watched Remember the Titans at Movie Under the Stars. That was one of my so favorite. How am I not going to jewelry now and getting caramel apples? Because I am full. Covered in MMs. Okay, listen. Can we give a. Wait, food update? So good. Delicious. Everything. I wasn't like yeah. the biggest fan of my bun. It was like very, very buttery. But all the other flavors were fabulous. Did you like my sandwich or your sandwich? I liked um, yours better. You did? Well, mine was really good, so. Yeah. Okay. And then... You're a very busy child over here. He's super busy. Something else. I'll take him to jewel get you caramel apples. <laughs> okay, ultrasound went fabulously. Heart rate of 168. Measured spot on. It's a girl. We don't know. We don't know the sex of our baby yet. Um, we're still talking if we're gonna get like the blood work done. I, I don't know. I don't think we need to. I don't think so either. I think we'll probably just wait until the anatomy scan. I will go back in two weeks for another ultrasound. At my at my first ultrasound, I had a very small SCH or blood clot, um, and they just need to make sure that it's resolved. They didn't see it today, but I also had a very full bladder, so we'll see. Um, so go back in two weeks. I really like the midwife I talked to. Is this just so boring to you that you have to sleep? <laughs> Um, what else, Peter? They're very... No! Our son is shaking keys and dancing. He's 18 years old. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, He typically just dances, like, from here up, but now he, like... Dance it, dance it, dance it out. Dance it, dance it, dance it out. Dance it, dance it. They're very supportive of a VBAC. 
which is a vaginal birth after a cesarean. Um, but I also have time to decide still. They literally said that day you could decide that. Back out. <laughs> the thing is, like, you guys know I had very traumatic birth experiences. This little chicken. And, like, just going in for a scheduled C-section sounds fairly peaceful and nice. <laughs> but I'm definitely game for it, but they want me to be enthusiastic. So, there was that. What else? Anything? Just good. Just like, great. yeah, we just really Super liked. supportive staff. Liked everyone I came liked in contact with. Did you, not so. wait two hours like I did. I mean, that sounds like a funny thing to, like, change care over. But the biggest hurdle I have at these types of appointments is, like, managing my anxiety. Because I get so worried just with, like... I mean, every pregnancy is scary. Um, but I feel like your anxiety, like, gets, your anxiety gets really bad, like, right before. Yeah. Like, it's not like you have anxiety right now for the next one. Right. In two weeks. And even, but, like, like, today I was pretty good, but it's like I it's get like, in the waiting room. And then, yeah, so it was very nice not to wait. That didn't last long. I got in, and I knew that yeah. everything was good. So that did make a big difference. And overall, it's a little far away, but... I, I, I was saying I'm gonna put in a little I'm gonna put in a little video. Like a North Star, Beverly, and it's yeah. a beautiful area. It's very beautiful. It's in Wilmette. Um, just north of Evanston. So yeah, that's the update. I'm gonna put in a little video here, which is nice that they sent that to us. And in two weeks we'll go again. It's tomorrow for sure. Sometimes you just fall asleep on the couch, right, Jamesy? James fell asleep on the couch. He did not sleep on the couch. <laughs> Sarah fell asleep on the couch. But we are here to say it's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.